Hello, real estate professionals. This is David McCullough with your information security technology class. I uh, wanted to do a video for you on Virtru encrypted secure email. Uh, a quick aside, if you have an established email account that you already use from GoDaddy or another uh, provider that we're not going to talk about, there is a way to use Gmail as sort of a wraparound a wrapper around your uh, existing account and still get access to this uh, secure technology. Uh, now Virtru is working on doing more all the time so I'm sure they're going to be adding some other email clients. But there's a 40 minute video on the site uh, and the YouTube channel that allow you to uh, go through that. It's a little lengthy but for those that need to do it that way you can get started doing secure encrypted email. This video is for those of you who either use one of these products, Gmail, Yahoo Mail, the desktop version of Outlook 2010, 2013, or 2016, and you have either Chrome or Firefox browser. So one of those combinations with the browser and the email client. If you do, it is a very simple matter to use Virtru. So I'm gonna to go to a new tab on my browser here. I'm using Chrome. And I'm just going to type in virtue.com, V-I-R-T-R-U. You can see that because it detects my Chrome browser, all I have to do is click Install Now, which I've already done. Uh, there's a little wizard. It'll have you identify yourself with a link in an email that you have to click. It's very common stuff you do all the time. But what you'll get when you go back to the email account itself is you'll get this new bar up here that says right now virtue protection is turned off but if I click the little slider button over here it turns blue and the button moves to the right and now it says I need to activate my email that's funny because I've been goofing around with this for a while so apparently I deactivated it at some point so you get to see this process anyway uh, after you install the uh, uh, extension in the browser you'll see this little blue V up here in the corner and so that's your indication that it's actually installed in the browser it says activate Virtru for my particular email here all right and then what I'm gonna do sorry didn't mean to minimize that is activate it for this particular account now it's going to give me a confirmation window here <coughs> or not I guess it just turned it on because I've done this before and so now I have virtue protection is on and any email that I send out from this point through this uh, little compose window is going to be encrypted so now one thing I'd like to point out to you folks that are just doing this for the first time is that if you cl click on this little link right here you can create a custom image or custom image a custom message <laughs> to let your people know when you're sending these emails out there like they might be wondering is this spam is this you know who is this virtue company have somebody hacked my friend's email account that kind of stuff especially if you're sending it to clients so you might just put something in here like um, hi guys something real personal you know I'm using and I won't type the whole thing but I'm using encrypted email now to send personal or financial email uh, information in emails uh, so if you see a, uh, a screen that says you need to activate or verify yourself, that's cool. No problem. Go ahead and do it. And from that point on, you won't have to do it very often. So just kind of a personal message that would only come from them. I might even end mine with um, David with cell state crossroads realty so that they know hey you know I mean, it's, it's very personal they know who I am okay so that's one thing you can do is do that little personalized message there then all the people that get your email for the first time with, with an encryption process attached they will have to oh, they will have that message to help set their minds at ease okay so I'm gonna go ahead and send one real quick to myself which is my um, I have another I have all my email accounts uh, set up inside of this email account all my gmail accounts, so they're all connected to this one browser screen so that's how i'm going to be able to do this um let's see test virtue and then just here's my typical stuff uh wow you know um something whatever your message is i've got my default uh, 
signature in here and there's my little logo at the bottom and all that stuff. So I'm gonna send this securely. When I click secure send now, because Virtue's turned on, it's going to say it's encrypting. It is then going to go to my cool dad at Gmail account. Well, because it's connected to my existing account we're looking at now, I'm actually gonna see that email immediately here because it was just forwarded back to me. So now I can click on that and it decrypts that. Now I have Virtue installed in my browser, so it automatically just decrypts it and shows it to me. If for the first time your, uh, your uh, recipient gets the email, they will not have this. They will have a separate uh, tab open up here and it'll use a separate window to decrypt. It'll ask them to verify their self and then it'll allow them, uh, offer to have them install the Virtue extension. And if they do, which is a good idea by the way, then they can just open their emails just like this. But they're still encrypted from my browser to their browser. So nobody reads it, not Gmail, not anybody in between, none of the email servers between you and your recipient can read this information. It's just an encrypted message, including your uh, attachments. They are encrypted as well. If you go to the, uh, well, I'm gonna show you that in just a second. There's a way to actually search these emails uh, for those who actually compose them. But as any, at any rate, you can see that this is the email to my other uh, email address. And, and don't worry about all my email to and froms because I have them all kind of work in a certain way. Don't wanna be, be confused. Point is you go from your email that has the email encryption capability in the compose area to whoever you want to send it to, they're gonna be able to read that encrypted email. And if they install the extension, if they happen to have Chrome or Firefox, they'll be able to read it right inside their email, email account. Okay, so that's how that works. I did wanna show you one other quick thing. Now that I've got this activated, I can go up here to this menu. And instead of saying activate this account, it's gonna give me some other options, one of which is settings. So I'm going to go to the settings screen this is sort of a, um, uh, what would you call it? A, um, I'm trying to think of the word I wanna use, but it's a, it's a section where you can set a few different things. Uh, not a whole lot with the free version because this particular version is free. If you pay $5 a month or $60 a year, billed annually, you can get all of the features of Virtue. But just wanted to show you that if you click on that, you can do, oh, dashboard is the word I was looking for. <laughs> it's late at night, I'm recording this video late. Um, been a long day. So I am looking at uh, the dashboard and I just wanna go through the various things. Now, if I turn on organization admin mode on the top left here, it allows me to load policies and so on. I can uh, look at all the emails in here that came to me or I sent encrypted, okay? I can look at my overview, which is do you already have, already have Virtue installed? Yes, I do, but if I don't, you know, it's just asking me if I do or don't. My emails are on the second tab. My All my files would be, come on, load, 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 thank you. These would be my files that I actually encrypted and sent in emails. So they're separately pulled out there. Here's my users. Now for those brokers out there who wanna actually re, uh, allow this or provide this for your brokers, you know, it is $5 a month per person to get the pro version and that would allow you then to use this um, add users section. So if I do an add user, it says, please upgrade to Virtual Pro. Okay, well, I'm not gonna do that right now, but a broker could sign up for this and then add all the email accounts. Uh, and I think they still have to be Gmail or Yahoo, yada, yada. Uh, but you can add those people in your office here and sort of uh, have just one account for the brokerage. I believe that's how that works. Then down here, uh, features, it talks about encrypted search. This is where you can turn on, there'll be a little slider here, if you wanna be able to search your encrypted emails on Virtue's server. Because what happens is your emails get encrypted on your browser, they go through a secret tunnel through Virtue servers, and then they go to your recipient where they're decrypted. So they handle the whole process. So in this case, you can turn this on and you would be able to search your encrypted emails. So remember, if they're encrypted, then they're, they're, they're encoded so you can't read them. But you can read them with this feature with Virtue, which is a really cool thing. So you can actually search your emails that are encrypted. So in other words, let me just jump back over here. If I get uh, an email from myself 
and I want to search this, if I go up here to the search bar for Gmail, normally you can search for any kind of uh, email you want, but an encrypted email wouldn't allow you, wouldn't allow Gmail to search the text to see. So, but if I do wow and I just click on that, then I should get this virtue. See, these, this code here is part of the encryption process. But I can say, oh, this is the one I want that has the word wow in it. I open it up, it decrypts it, and it lets me read it. So that's how it's actually searching for this text that is encrypted inside of it. But even though it's encrypted inside of it, Virtru themselves cannot read it. And I know that seems like an oxymoron, but it's the truth. They can't read this because it's encrypted. So it meets all the uh, federal requirements for uh, secure email, but it also allows you on your side to, to uh, search your own emails that are encrypted. Okay, so there's that. Now back to the dashboard. You go features there, we've turned on our enable encrypted search. And then there's of course a frequently asked question that you can actually get more details on that. Here's your Virtual Pro trial. I don't know why they call it a trial because as soon as you go to the screen, they just want you to give them 60 bucks for the year and I didn't see anything about a trial. Here's a little bit of information about adding users to your account. Here's your team and so on. And they give you a little more information about team-based stuff. And then there's some rules here. And this also allows you to say, uh, if there are certain things, sensitive information in my emails, you know, what would you like me to do with them? So they've got all these different kinds of like FINRA, HIPAA, PII. These are different rule sets that you can set up so that you can uh, be alerted to things in that email on our team. All right, so that's just want to show you there's a dashboard. It's really cool. If this is not turned on, you lose a few of those features because they're basically designed for teams. Okay, back to the email real quick. That's what a, an encrypted email looks like. This is what it looks like when you're actually cre creating it. You just want to make sure the slider's on and the bar is blue. You can turn it off if you so desire. I have kind of forgotten to turn it on a few times, so I'm just leaving it on now and I'm putting a nice little message in here in my intro, making sure everybody knows what it is so that when they get it for the first time, they won't have to verify themselves more than once every 30 days. So that's a, a constant recheck. Now, real quickly, want to get off the whole topic of what this is and how you do it. It does meet your good faith effort that Tom talks about in the information security class in the first four hours. And so therefore, if you were to step in front of a judge in a lawsuit, you can show, hey, I, show, I am uh, sending encrypted emails. I have secure email set up that I send to everybody. So I'm protecting myself the best of my ability, along with your identity theft prevention officer certification that Tom talked about and some of the other things. You have all of this going for you. So I also want to make the point that uh, Tom makes up in class, and I, and I try to point out as well, that as a real estate agent, you're on the forefront of this encryption and information security stuff. This has not been taught to us as individual real estate agents before. So uh, the banks, excuse me, the uh, title companies, the lenders, they've been forced into it because of complying with law. But individual agents, small privately owned brokerages, and so on, we've been able to just kind of duck and not do it and ignore it. But those laws are apply to us as well. So we have to do this. Either your broker needs to supply this or you need to take it on your own and go ahead and get it. Uh, we'll point out that the free version of Virtru is way better than nothing, but they will tell you that unless you pay the 60 bucks and get the full version, the pro version, you're not getting all of the security features. One of those features is uh, with the pro version is that you can recall emails that you sent out. And if you recall it and they try to decrypt the email on the recipient end, it will just say this match is no longer available. That's very cool. You can also prevent forwarding so that people cannot forward your encrypted message unencrypted. So that will prevent them from sending it on other places. So those are very cool things. They're probably worth the money. 60 bucks is not a lot of money for the year. I'm doing it. Uh, I'm also looking at a team uh, solution, but uh, just testing it right now. I'm using it in my private personal emails just, just to go. So that's, that's the whole thing is uh, it's really great. It shows good faith effort. Even if it doesn't work perfectly, consider getting it right away. Uh, it's the easiest way to use your existing email account if you have Gmail, Yahoo, Outlook desktop version. For those of you on Mac, you need uh, a Chrome or Firefox browser and one of those emails. 
same thing. They are working on Safari, by the way. Okay, so this, uh, one last thing, this is a marketing opportunity. When you send emails for the first time to your clients, make a big deal out of the fact that you have gotten on board with information security and that you, it's so important to you that you protect client data that you are encrypting emails now. All right, and then if they have to re-verify themselves every 30 days during your process of selling the home or whatever, remind them that by re-verifying their identity is just one more step in your, your security process. And so we wanna make sure that you're still the same person with the same email and they're still the intended recipient for these documents that have financial information uh, in them. Uh, that's it, so uh, encrypted email, encrypted attachments, for those uh, who use Gmail, Yahoo, Outlook, and uh, I'm sure more are coming. So this is a great company. It's very relatively new. Get this product, attach it to your Gmail if you use Gmail, and get on with it. If you need the longer version of how to wrap Gmail around an existing email, look for the 40-minute video on the website and get that. All right, guys, thanks for watching. David out.